You guys won't even believe why I turned on the camera. Like, seriously, you won't. Got an email back asking, hey, do you guys want to pick up that same uh, same piece of equipment you guys just dropped off in Longview and take it to Portland to a different clinic? Feet, turn left on they asked if the driver's still, near, still nearby. So basically what I have done is I went and got food. Then I went to the cheapest gas station in town. Got some fuel, filled up, finished my food, was already looking, planning my route, which way I was going to go through that right, Highway 12. Street. Was going to go through that Highway 12, and then they asked, and we gave them the same rate that what we came in here for, so they agreed to it, and I'm going to go pick it up and go deliver it, and then head home, so... Gonna be another long day, long night, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, but it is what it is. It's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. We'll get it done. So, still snow, snow on the ground, still rain here. I guess it's not meant to be for me to go try that Highway 12 today. Maybe that's, you know, maybe this is a reason. Like I've been saying, there's always a reason for everything. Maybe this reason is for you know me not being there. Maybe it's gonna get closed, or maybe it's maybe it's bad over there. Maybe who knows? Who knows what the maybe is? Let's go pick up this stuff and go take it. I count it as a blessing. You know, somebody might say, "Wow, wow, what? Got to work and blah blah. You only slept four hours. Yeah, I only slept four hours last night. So what? I made money on that load. I made money on this load that I dropped off. And now I am driving picking this thing up one more time and gonna go deliver it once more and make more money so in the end it's a blessed day like you know what I mean like no other all good with me all good with me I must have missed a turn or something I don't know gotta go find the front of this front of this clinic Okay, I want to explain something to you guys. If there, if you're ever picking stuff up or delivering to get it in and out of the van faster, it's actually easier to find a little hill where you're going to be at. Basically, I put the vehicle down into a hole. You see that? It's in the hole. This is up here, so I'm going to get the ramp out and you see how low my rear end is now? It's easier to load this way. Let's get it loaded up. So always do it that way. Places where you can actually feel in a lot of spots that it's ice so they still basically this stuff's falling freezing and new rain is falling on top of it so you're kind of dealing with some interesting road conditions where it seems like it might just be all it is is rain but it's not all it is is rain there's a thin layer of ice underneath there and the temperatures keep dropping um, when I was coming through here it was 34 now that I'm back here a couple hours later now it's already 31 degrees so it's starting to freeze and you know you can definitely feel it but hey we made it almost there six more miles and we're at delivery so thank god we're you know doing good
Okay, we're here. Here's the building. Missed a turn, so I had to flip a Yui. Doesn't say you can. Can't. I know in the state of Washington, they made it a law saying if there's no sign that says you can't, that means you can. I, as far as what I know. Always by the emergency room for these guys, and then uh, find a place to go park there and go figure out exactly from after that from from where and to where. What is this? What are these guys doing here? <clears throat> I haven't seen fire trucks come to the emergency area before. Interesting, interesting. What the what the deal is? Do these guys get hurt or something somewhere? They got chains on and everything. Front, back. Ooh. Oh boy. They've got it going on. Okay, so I'll walk in the emergency and I'll ask them where the MRI department is. And they'll tell me where it is and I'll go deliver it there. So it should be as simple. Simple as always, I believe. That's how I like it. That's how I like it it to be but it's not really always the case not really not always I did my delivery now it's time to get out of here look at these trees look what's happening how they're shaking it's really windy you got snow you got freezing rain coming down ice pieces of ice falling look at this look at the trees so they're having the same thing happening today as they had a couple days ago. The guy who received the freight said they had to spend the night, well they had to stay here, they have to live here pretty much for two days he said. Because they, you know, I don't know, either couldn't get home, didn't want to go home, or maybe they wouldn't let them go because they were so busy probably with, I don't know, I didn't ask too many questions, I just wanted to get out of here. Look at all those trees over there, they've turned white. Let me see if I can zoom in. I don't feel like walking around out there and, you know, film for you guys, but you guys see the white? These should, these should be normal trees. That's all frost. So yeah, they definitely do have a problem here and I don't really feel like sticking around for it because, you know, for the most part, Portland, you know, used to be a pretty area, but these guys don't know how to drive in the winter conditions. Or in you know ice conditions or anything like that so time for me to go home and these guys you know I wish you the best of luck Portland hopefully no wrecks hopefully no accidents and hopefully no power outages for you guys I'll show you guys also what I think is the coolest job in the world probably maybe besides mine there's an actual maybe a donor uh, transplant donor driver I'll show you He's going to be in this white car with the lights on them and everything. I'll show you, show you, show you. Right there. Life Alliance, organ recovery transport. So, if I understand this correct, then there's, here's another little guy too right here. He was sitting in there too, and now he just left somewhere inside. You can still see the fogginess on the inside. Anyways, from my understanding, if you guys know anything about it, write it in the comments. But I'm just speaking out loud here what my thoughts are. So they're waiting, they're waiting for somebody, for somebody to cut something out of somebody and then give it to them and so they can go take it in, take it to somebody else to get it installed in somebody else's body. That's kind of how I look at it. If that's true and you guys know something about it, maybe your family member or maybe you yourself do this. Let me know. I think that's really the... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Maybe that's really the best job in the, in the world. We'll see. We'll see what you guys say from the comments. Let me know. Those of you guys that live here, please comment. How often do you guys have a winter like this in Portland that causes... Jesus. It's got some insane side crosswinds here. You guys can see the trees, with what's happening with the trees. All iced over and then, you know, insane crosswinds. 
traction tire is required. It says a mile post 17. So I've got my traction tires, so we're good with me. And semi trucks, I think, are putting chains on. They're chaining up. Which I already seen a few of them with chains on. Like way before it's needed. So I I have no clue what's going on. Who needs them, who doesn't need them. Here's mile post 17, so from here on out, you're supposed to have chains. Or traction tires. I got my traction tires on, so we're good with that. Got some snacks, got some water, got some... Should have grabbed more coffee, though. Maybe once I get past the chaos here, I'll go and get some, some more. Oh, look at what's happening. Look at the line of trucks. Look at that line of trucks. Everybody's trying to get into the uh, to the truck stop and it's just full. So no room. And to fill up and there's, you know, huge lines. <laughs> 